There is a new 85 rated FIFA card that could be one of the greatest rated cards you've seen in the history of FIFA. This right back is unbelievable. And his name is uh, Aguai Gary. Aguai Garai? Aguai Garai. Aguai Garai. <laughs> I don't know. Guys, come on, give me, give me a break. I'm trying to get his name right. Right. He is fantastic. He also could be his way back's brother. Yeah, that is an amazing FIFA card from a good man's way. He might be coming to the house soon, by the way, his way, so hopefully that will happen soon. But anyway, Aguai Garai looks unbelievable. I spent about 110k to get his card from League SBCs, and he looks worth it. That card is insane. What's also incredible is comparing him to icons. This card has more stats than Carlos Alberto and Javier Zanetti's prime version of his right back card. That's how great this card is. It is sensational. And with that being said, you obviously need an amazing team. Before that though, I want to show you guys what happens when you give him a shadow chemistry style. So with a basic chemistry style, he's 88 right back in game. Give this man a shadow chemistry style and he becomes a 91 rated right back in this game. That is the level we are speaking of with this card. If you give him an anchor chemistry style, look at the stats as well. He could actually be better, arguably, in game with the anchor style. I mean, it's amazing how good this card is and we've got him this early on. It's incredible. I am so hyped to use this card. So with that being said, he's ready in the squad. However, he needs some teammates, doesn't he, guys? So we're going to get Theo Walcott as a teammate. That might surprise you. Next up, we're going to get this bronze centre-back from, I believe, uh, Saudi Arabia called Lajami. By the way, loads of Saudi Arabia subscribers on the channel lately. I don't know why that's happened, but thank you guys if you're from Saudi Arabia. Goalkeeper is going to be a silver goalkeeper by the name of, hold on, I've got him somewhere. He is, I believe, from Ukraine. If you guys know this player, then fair play. You really play a lot of FIFA. So this guy's name is Koval. So he's going to go in the team. Center mid in the squad will be a guy who I think a lot of you guys will love to see him back in the team. It's going to be James Milner. This card is so nice in game. I like it a lot. Left center back for the amazing Agua Garay card. It's going to be Gomez from Liverpool. Left back now in the team will be a bronze left back. It's going to be Kevin. We're going with a guy called Kevin with those stats. 81 stamina, 5 foot 7. I mean, Kevin Wright. Kevin Wright to make this work. Yes, guys, this is a very strange team, but I love making these kind of rainbow hybrids and we can make it somehow work. Brazilian left mid going to be Paulinho. I believe this guy used to be a four. Was he five star skiller back in the day? I think he was. So I'm going to go Paulinho right there. Now, at the cam position is going to be a guy who I think could be one of the best players I've honestly used in this game. Roberto Firmino. Unbelievable how good he is in FIFA 20. Absolutely sublime. Now, right cam will be a Premier League cam, and that's going to be Jamie Vardy. So this team is really shaping up, guys, to be just magnificently weird, isn't it? Now, the final player will be a card that we did pack the other week. And it's going to be not a Premier League player, not any technically league. Technically, you see what I mean? It's going to be Dede Drogba. I cannot wait to try this card out. He is going to be ridiculous. And there you have it, guys. 100 chemistry. Look at that rare team in FIFA. Let's get it. Also, guys, I wanted to make sure I clarified a few things that I did see on the Black Friday market crash video yesterday and obviously on Twitter, on Discord as well, and to pretty much clarify a few things. I always love making these market crash videos, the hype that generates around it, the fun around it for me as well, and I always like being informative for you guys watching the videos. I did see quite a few of you guys, though, be confused by some of the statements I made in that video, and looking back at it and watching it back a lot already, I can, to be honest, 
I'm frustrated myself not explaining everything in detail like I normally would. I was too broad with some of the statements, being honest. I'll say that. I think I need to really, with these market crash videos, be really specific. And the statement such as informs will plummet, I literally had it written down on the script I had for that video that it's obviously meaning the best of informs. People obviously thought I meant every inform in the game, which is frustrating for me because I just haven't explained it well enough. So that's on me. That's my bad. Obviously, I meant the best of team of the week, which could be coming out. There's no clarification that yet, but if they do release a best of team of the week, then those specific informs will drop in price. I also said that players halve in price, and that was too broad. Obviously, it meant the lower end kind of rated players in FIFA 20, not players like Messi, Neymar, Mbappe, Van Dijk. That will not happen. They will not halve in price, more so the very low end players. And overall, I think there were quite a few things that I didn't mention in terms of the higher rated players and icons. So the next market crash video, guys, I'm going to make sure I just spot on nail. It's been frustrating to see that I didn't get my points across perfectly like I probably normally would. Also, a few traders online and obviously on the videos, I did think that I said selling your team right now is advisable. I simply spoke about how people do and people have. I've had friends text me this morning say they've sold their clubs to fund pack openings. That happens. However, I think because I spoke about people selling their teams, some guys thought I meant you should sell your team. That's not what I said. I had to clarify that because a few of you guys were confused and it's understandable. It wasn't that clear. For tomorrow, my point of the video was I think you should invest with coins you've set aside, not sell your team to fund investing and invest in players that you think will go lower during lightning round, players like 83 to 85. And also people thought I said invest now in 83s and 85s. Again, that was not what I meant. It was more so to do with lightning round because obviously players would decrease in price when lightning rounds happen. So um, yeah, it was frustrating, but I mean, to be honest, I've got to own it and say that I will improve for the next market crash video. I appreciate all your guys' feedback though in the comments and on Twitter and on Discord and everywhere, had <laughs> everywhere, man. So um, yeah. We'll improve. Right, guys, time to play with the very unbelievable right-back card. And I want to have a quick look in-game what his stats are saying because, oh, my days. Look at those stats to be improved. 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed now for this right-back card. Let's have a game. Also, I'm going to be streaming tonight a massive reward stream, which we will probably make into, like, a crazy video tonight as well. So... We're going to have a go with Division Rivals, and I've just got to claim my rival rewards right now quickly. What did I get in this rival reward? Wow, 4.5k. You'd love to see it, but we're going to open some red player pick packs later on the stream. Let's play, though, with this new card. First game, he's got Hadji Pulisic Veron. Veron. I have legit forgotten about his icon card. I am not joking. For some reason then, I just thought, has he even got icon card? Guys, I legit forgot Veron is in this game. Right, let's give it to the right back. Let's go. First, oh my God. Nice touch, let's go. Let's go, Aguai Garai. It's going to turn it. Oh, that's a nice skill move, to be fair. Bang, let's go. Drag back. Come on, Aguai Garai. You'd love to see it. Pretty well balanced this formation lead. Yeah, it can be well, four, first three, impressions, he is not missed a tackle mode, yet. So that's a good start. Go back to a four, five, one when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind that's him. Especially the number 10 will be given a free roll. Drogba! Oh, Drogba first shot, guys. Aguagarai with the nice tackles as well. Drogba, first shot, first goal. And it wasn't even like a finesse shot with press, but it worked. So I don't know how that works, but fantastic shot with Drogba. Here we go. One Aguagarai. One Aguagarai. Fake shot. Done him. Yeah, done him. Go on. Well, my game is just frozen. Uh, <laughs> okay, that, that just happened. Okay. Oh my God, it's under review. What? Did I just get that win? I think I did. Surely I got the win. I, I was winning. Guys, in the comments, have I just got that win? I was 1-0 up and it's given me 390 points. Right, guys, next game he's got Inform Ben Yedder, Icon, Crespo, Pogba, Matuidi, Aguagarai. Let's deal with Komen and probably Mendy overlapping on the wing as well. Let's go, let's give it to Aguagarai. I've heard that he's rapid in game. And oh, wow, he really has good dribbling. Guys, wow. Okay. I honestly believe he could be best. Wow. That dribbling is amazing. He could be best as a centre mid. I'm not even joking. He's going to be awesome as a um, right back. However, those stats, 
Oh, so nice for a centre mid. Go on, Lajami. Well played. To a three ahead of them, and then a lone striker with a number ten just behind him. Oh my God, what's my what's my centre back doing, man? Have you guys? What is that gameplay? Why is my goalkeeper not just saved it? Uh, what the hell? It's like my team wanted to score an own goal. Yeah, one all. Brilliant play there. Damn, rivals are so freaking like. The gameplay is different to fast gameplay when it's fast, if that makes any sense. It's not getting past him, bro. What are you doing? Well played, Agawagarai. Aggressive style. Well. Well played. Damn, okay. Walcott. Drop back. And a chance for Walcott. That is an amazing goal. Guys, come on, you got to respect that. <laughs> that was so nice. The game did everything I asked it to. Maybe this update to FIFA could be a good thing. Yeah, like, the centre-backs are seriously horrific. Gomez has not done a thing right, but Aguagaray, he's everywhere, guys. His dribbling is just brilliant. He tracks back really well. His pace is undeniably so rapid. And um, he's fun. Really a lot of fun. Would definitely advise getting his card if you can from the SBC. That's a really nice play. Oh, lucky. And a very good challenge and very deftly cut out. Drogba. Yes, 3 2. Drogba, brilliant finish. Drogba's finishing's really good. However, he feels really like clunky to use and a bit almost slow on the turn. But his finishing is. Yeah, his finishing is brilliant, guys. What is this keeper? Is it going to make a change in terms of the team? I think Agua Garay could be an outstanding centre mid. Also, this team is just... It's really, really open at the back because of the bronze centre back. But I'm going to try Agua Garay like CDM. I reckon he could be an absolute beast. Um, I'll bring Palinio. You know what? I'll try him as a... As a cam, but like a defensive cam, if that makes sense. I'm gonna bring Tellers on centre back, and then I just I want to win this game, so I want to properly try out Aguai Garay. Let's try that. Oh, look at that touch, guys! Drag back, bang! Get out of the way. Go on, Aguai Garay. Can I get a long shot with him? He still got it. I got. Oh my god! Brilliant work, Aguai Garay. There's the pass. Oh, great pass. Why did Drogba just what dummy it on a real attention. level? I didn't press that. And he cuts inside. Played Agwagarai. And like again, even when he loses the ball, guys, he always seems to find a way of tracking it back. Like he'll eventually get this. I'm telling you. There you go. He's got a bat and bang. He is everywhere on this team. So clean as well. Well played. Referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. Well, that's very smart defending, and now they have the ball again. Might be a chance here. Yes, great save. Needed that. Given away. Drogba. Oh my god. I do find Drogba a bit inconsistent, to be honest, guys. With his finishing. I think I've gone back on what I said, to be honest. He's either so clinical or just a bit off. I don't know what it is. Alex Tellez. Vardy. Drogba. I mean, it's like he just loves the crossbar. This guy's missed so many chances. Oh, <laughs> Aguagarai was a goal to seal the win against a very good FIFA player. Matthias Aguai Garay has scored a screamer. How has he done that? We might need to use him more often in a mega team as a cam. Wow. That's incredible, guys. And he's now trying to score on goals. GG to this guy. Very good FIFA player in Division 2. What a goal. Matthias Aguai Garay. I can't believe that finish, man. That a right back at CDM scoring that goal. Oh my God.
What an absolutely fantastic finish on a real level. That is a right back doing this. What is that finish? That's like an icon level finish right there. That's perfectly top right. Unbelievable. We scored, guys, with the beast himself from Uruguay, not Greece, like I said the other day. Great win there for the team. And I'm actually blown away by how good his dribbling is. His best trait was dribbling and then tracking back. And to be honest, defending was outstanding as well. Everything was great. The I'm trying to think of negative. I can think about more negatives about Drogba, to be honest. Uh, Drogba was a bit off for me. I don't know what it was. But Matthias Aguagaray was outstanding. He is definitely worth the coins. What a player, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this big player review of Matthias Aguagaray. I'd say he's worth it, guys. 150k. You can make quite a few coins back from the silver packs as well. What a mad card.